Hey everybody, it's Bree from HomemadeOnOurHomestead.com. Today I'm gonna to share with you a really quick, simple breakfast meal that you can have for those mornings on the go. So here at our house, my kids have school three days a week, and if we're not running out the door to go to school, it's swim class, the grocery store, or something that just keeps us really busy where we're not able to sit down and have a big breakfast. So for those busy mornings on the go, this is my favorite thing to have and I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's really quick, simple, there's no cooking involved, so I think you're gonna like it. So some of the things you're gonna need is a banana, some romaine lettuce, I know that sounds weird, but just trust me, some dates, almond butter, honey and or date syrup. Now these are both optional and definitely not something you have to use. And for the mornings that I'm running out the door, I usually don't put this on just because it can add a little bit more mess. Then you're gonna need some nuts. Again, this is an optional topping, not something you have to use, but I like the added crunch and just a little bit more texture to my banana boat, but it's not something you have to do. So here I have some chia seeds, some raw uh, sunflower seeds, some chopped up hazelnuts, slivered almonds, chopped pecans, or pumpkin seeds. Now you can add all of these toppings or you can add as few or as many as you like. It's really up to you. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get some washed romaine lettuce leaves. Now I always keep mine washed and ready to go in the fridge. So you're gonna take one to two leaves of romaine lettuce. Now it really depends on just how many you wanna eat. I typically have two ready at a time. Then you're gonna take a banana, you're gonna chop the top, and the bottom piece off and you're gonna peel the banana. Once the banana is peeled, you're gonna take it and you're gonna cut it in half, lengthwise. Lay the banana flat on a cutting surface, get out your almond butter, and then you're gonna smear the top of the banana with as much almond butter as you like. Okay, once you have the top of the banana coated with almond butter, you're gonna place the halves of the banana inside the leaf of the romaine lettuce. Now I know this sounds really weird, but just try it. So it really is like a banana in a boat. Then the next thing I like to do is usually take some chopped up dates if you don't have time to chop them, you definitely can just kind of pull them apart and stick them to the top of the almond butter. Then again, this part is totally optional, but you can sprinkle some chopped nuts or chia seeds on top of the banana boat. So I think this morning I'm gonna have some chopped pecans and some chopped hazelnuts. And that's it. This is our breakfast on the go. My son likes to call them banana boats. You can call them whatever you want. They're really delicious, really healthy, and they're great for those mornings when you're running out the door. So good. Thank you so much for joining me for another recipe in which I shared how to make these quick and easy banana boats. I hope you'll give them a try. Here in our homestead, we do two videos a week on rustic living, food from scratch for a handmade home. 